Welcome back to the farm. My name's Roz, also known as Passion Flower, and you'll find me here each week talking about my farming and creative life. Before I jump in this week, I just wanted to share with you the poncho that I'm wearing. This is the cow neck poncho that I designed myself, and it is knit in my tendril lace weight yarn, and this is the lilac colorway. If you're interested in knitting the pattern, it's available for free on Ravelry and I'll put it in the link below as well as a link to where you can buy the yarn. This week I took a tour of the Edible Forest which is out at Dixon's Creek. I'll put a link in the description box below for anyone who's interested and I do highly recommend that anyone who is wanting to learn anything about growing your own food and how to have that all come together in one space um, that you should go and check it out. It was absolutely amazing. It provided so many ideas for me about how to create my own productive patch and it doesn't matter what size that is. Uh, the guide was amazing. She took us through the garden and as we went around she pulled off leaves and fruit and explained the benefits of things and how to grow them, gave us tastes of the different plants and it was a real experience in showing what can be done to bring together a whole lot of different plants and how they all work together in one space and how everything in your garden can have some real function in terms of providing food or medicine for yourself, but also how they all work together. And for a really long time, I've wanted to grow my own true edible garden. And I've visited a few in the past and it seemed like it was quite a difficult thing to do. But the guide was so open and friendly and very practical and just talked about how she'd come from an, uh, having no experience at all really in in permaculture or horticulture or anything except from her own gardening experiences and how just by reading and trial and error really she has been able to establish this really fabulous garden so now I've got tons of ideas of things that I want to do for my garden moving forward it would be awesome to have a productive edible garden that was beautiful hello wait that was beautiful and that provided not only food for us year round, but also for bees and insects and birds. So by combining the knowledge that I learned in the Bush Tucker course with this information from the Edible Forest, I am hoping that I can work towards establishing my own very productive and rewarding garden. Now at the moment in our small veggie patch, Pretty much the only thing that's growing throughout the winter is rhubarb and we have a stack of it. So I picked some a couple of days ago and I stewed it up and I've been having it on yogurt and granola in the morning or on some vanilla ice cream in the evening and it is delicious. Um, it is super easy to stew rhubarb, you just pop it in a pot with a little bit of water and some sugar. And I don't use a ton of sugar. I think it's nice to have that sort of tart sweetness. So you just sort of do that to your own taste. And um, just boil it up until the syrup becomes all beautiful and pink and the stalks become soft. And enjoy. One thing to note though with rhubarb is the leaves are extremely poisonous. So if you have pets, I uh, recommend not growing it where they might be because they will potentially eat it and also you don't want to eat it yourself and you can't put it into your compost or anything like that so it has to go into to green waste or be thrown away because it is toxic. This week was the monthly sit and stitch at Unwan Craft Cafe which is always so much fun and huge inspiration to me to be able to see what other people are making with yarn. Now after finishing two big projects last week, I kind of stopped for a minute and had a look at what I had currently on the needles, all of my backed up whips that I'd left sitting in my tub of things to finish. And I had picked up a few things and I've been working on them and 
they're things that I am happy about and that I do want to finish. But I, all these grand plans came to a halt after Unwind uh, because I've committed to something that may be a little bit crazy. So Kate from Unwind, hello Kate, uh, she has been talking about these socks on their Facebook Live every week for about the last three or four weeks. And when I first saw the pattern, I thought they are beautiful and that'd be amazing to knit, but there's no way that I would wear them. They're just not my style, but they're beautiful. And ever since she showed them that first time, she's been begging someone to knit them for her. And at the sit and stitch night, we were having a chat and those socks came up and I said how beautiful they were. And all of a sudden, I'm knitting them for her. So <laughs> I have the yarn, I have the pattern, and all I need is her foot measurements and away I go. So let me show you what they are and what the yarn is. So here is the pattern. They are the Gallium Knee Socks and they are absolutely gorgeous. They, that is the back of the sock and the front is just plain knitting. And I have the wool that the pattern actually calls for. It is Juniper Moon Farm Harriet Fine and it's a baby alpaca and nylon blend. And so I have two balls. I have the needles ready. I just need to wind it up and go. So I'm really hoping that I enjoy knitting these. It's, it's a bit hard being accountable for some knitting. Normally I do things for myself or if, <clears throat> or if I do knit for someone else, they actually don't know that it's for them until I've finished. Well, that's it for another week. Thanks for spending some time with me. If you're enjoying these videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you next week on the farm. Bye.